So today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to speak over a video that I recorded. Yeah. So let's see how this turns out. So basically, right here what I'm doing is I'm checking my farm. So I've got about 10 black dragons in the pens that I have, so all the medium pens. And this is crucial. So right in this location, you can check all of your dragons all at once. So that's a dub. I forget where I learned that from, but there you go. And another important thing is to make sure you use urns. So normally, I always forget urns. And come to think of it, I'm AFK fishing now, and I don't think I have urns in my inventory, but I'll, I'll fix that. And okay, so, but anyway, for farming, it's especially useful because you're literally getting all this XP all at once. So it's basically, boom, farming level, grape, grape vines. Okay, um, yeah, so basically farming urns are super important. So the dragons themselves, they probably cost like a mil total and the urns cost you another mil. So for me, I'd say that's super worth it. Um, and yeah, you could also use the farming outfits uh, that gives you 5% more XP, but I don't have that because it's too much of a grind to get and I can't be bothered to actually train farming by growing seeds. Um, so here I bought this medicinal honeycomb and this delicious honeycomb because one of my dragons, in one of their pens, the food ran out, unfortunately. So basically to heal them up, I bought this. So what it does, so the yellow one, what it does is it treats for, or it cures for, whatever, it, 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 it puts your happiness back to 100. I wouldn't suggest using the yellow one on like lower level animals, but I would suggest using the red one. So the red one like um, heals your animals and then the yellow one is happiness. So I use them on dragons because dragons are like 100k XP. Um, and so you see here, um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a vet or whatever. I'm not any of those things. So I epically fail here. But there is actually on the wiki um, a way to do this. I just sort of like guess and check. You, you'll eventually get a feel for it. And boom, there you go. We did it. Um, so yeah, you just spam click that and then uh, it gets used up. When it's at 100 uh, happiness and health, it gives you the maximum XP. And you want to basically harvest that elder to get the maximum XP again. So now is also key. Um, once you have all your dragons, um, and at the elder stage, this is what you want to do. You want to sell it to the uh, raptor. So the raptor is basically going to buy your dragons. And... Um, she can only buy like six at a time. So she's going to come back in like two days and then you can sell it more. And boom, you get beans. So I sold six dragons for about 8K beans. So I got a whole bunch of beans. Um, at a certain point, they just, just keep stacking up. Um, there are good ways to use it, but that's at like higher levels anyway. Um, but I would suggest uh, whatever beans you have, you want to invest it back in your farm. So you want to be buying all of this random stuff, like deeds and all that. Um, and you're going to need construction levels for that. So actually, the main reason why I didn't do uh, POF like was because I didn't have construction levels. But now you guys can go straight to Fort for N3, knock out that content, and then do player-owned farms. And then you can basically um, get your gains that way. So here I'm just selling off the produce... Um, this is going to be a lot more for different animals. Like, for example, if you have crystal chins, um, it'll pretty much like net you zero because they actually give um, products that are useful and are valuable. And so, yeah, uh, then I kind of just show my urns for no particular reason. Um, oh, yeah, like the, basically you want to buy exactly like 143 or 144 urns um, I, I overbought. So whatever, I think it's exactly 143. Yeah, because I had seven urns that were completely empty. And now 
is another part of this player owned farm system if you're a mainscaper is you basically want to buy a whole bunch of unchecked animals and for these unchecked animals you have to have the farming level for it like you can't really um boost and then try to check animals that way you have to have the requirement but once you check them they can either be male or female and they could have different traits um so then you're going to go back in your farm and you're going to check them back into the pens in their respective pens so different pens require different animals so that's what you're going to do and um back in my dailies video um i talked about this so these dragons they eat meat but they also eat fish so what I do is I actually have my managing miscellanea um, gather raw fish for me. So that way I really don't have to worry about it. I don't have to go over to Oolog or whatever and buy up meat. It's just all here. And then also like the seeds give me a chance to get that um, spirit tree seed that I need. Like I think I need like three more or whatever. So this is pretty much how player owned farm works. Like you basically want to have food in their uh, troughs so that way their health is maintained and then you don't have to like cure their disease every single time so um, that makes it a lot easier on you um, also uh, at the higher levels like basically after 99 there's like the anachronia dinosaur farm which is basically just player on farms but with dinosaurs so that's really cool but that only applies for when you're a higher level anyway and It'll be super fast that way. Um, it's just so, something that just keeps rolling as you go. It's just like passive. And um, the earlier you start, the better, I guess. Um, I started late, but because like the, it didn't make any sense to me. But I really hope like this helps you guys in terms of um, farming making sense. Because back in the day, like you would think like, how do you train farming? Like, it used to be like having seeds and pots and then putting in your bank and then running around and putting trees and like all of this like extra stuff. Um, so thank God they added player own farms. Now you can just be a farmer and then train farming. I will say that like if none of this made any sense, my suggestion is actually to just as you're sort of like understanding the um, nitty gritty of this to actually do um what's it called basically you it's like beehives so the idea behind beehives is you're going to take wold leaves so wold leaves there's a person who sells wold leaves in foul door you're going to take those wold leaves and you're going to stick them in these beehives and it's basically so if you look at this what uh, what i'm looking at right now if you go to the uh, south eastern corner of this farm there are a bunch of beehives. So you're just going to throw in your wold leaves there and you're, you're going to wait. You're going to wait about a day. So I guess it's semi training, but um, you're going to be throwing those wold leaves in there. And then once you take the wold leaves out, you're going to be taking out delicious or you're going to be taking out like honeycombs. So it's the red one. I want to say it's the delicious ones but yeah it's the red ones the red ones are going to come out and you're going to get tons of xp so you basically want to do that for the early levels like it's crazy fast leveling and then by the time you get comfortable with that like you'll have an understanding of how like beans work and how the farm really works so i would 100 percent suggest to do player on farms for farming xp it's super afk it's super easy and it's just passive it just keeps going uh, once you get the hang of it. Oh yeah, and here I'm basically like putting food into the troughs. Um, uh, 2,700 divided by like three is uh, 900 each. So I'm hoping that's gonna uh, feed my dragons for the for the week. So yeah, um, initially I'd say like like right now, the longer you go, like with the higher levels, basically like the um, longer it takes for your uh, animals to hit elder. But I guess also when you're starting out, you don't want the times to be so long. So you just want to get the XP fast. And honestly, like the XP for farming is fast. Like even at the lower levels, I would say like, for example, if you grow like spiders or whatever, you're going to have tons of XP. But oh, never mind.